the we don't know show, although there's lots of things we don't know, we do deal in reality. There's things we'd like to know, and uh, we can f we can try and pose some questions. So mo most most of my, well, my plays, which which um, John tells me, I sh well no, he's he's not so sure about me carrying on with them because we don't we don't he says we don't get an answer, but I think we're getting closer to getting an answer if we reformulate them and sometimes come back to reality, but sort of drift in and out of, of uh, drama as a way of doing things. So there's um, two, there's broadly two, two plays. One is called A CD Walk, which is a walk around, started as a walk around Exeter, where the CD shops used to be. And um, asking the question if if there's so little space needed now for music retail why is there so much space needed for learning uh, so we we what we notice on a walk around extra is the student accommodation and I, I I find this is sort of off topic somehow for universities once they're on a campus um, I'm sort of saying this. This is because I have. Uh, it's not just in, in Exeter. I find this, but um, there has been a a series of meetings. Ed, EduX. If you look for EduX on on Twitter, you'll you'll notice a whole series of meetings about pedagogy and um, artificial intelligence and what impact it has. But somehow, all of these discussions are are just about teaching methods or research assume it, it this is just my my impression of it assuming that the the campus is just the same as ever it was that you would still need just as much of it um i'm i am rambling now it's, it, it, it's a good thing if john were here he'd probably interrupt me and say i'm going off off the topic even if i what i started but it's something like um I, well, let, going to the Guardian from yesterday. I haven't, I haven't tried the Guardian t from today yet, but there's there's a couple of stories in it. One is that HSBC are going to move from Canary Wharf back to the city, and globally they're going to lose about forty percent of their office space um, over time. But the next few years, that's their plan. So po post COVID. I, I don't think they're alone in this. I think a lot of office space has reduced. There's a lot more working at home, but there's there's no sort of parallel move to cut down on the campus or to stop building student accommodation. Um, and then you get the editorial. The main editorial is about universities, um, and the main bit I entirely agree with. We, we, weakening the arts is taking education backwards. That's that's perfectly true, but then they say um, both students and staff have justified grievances. Students lost out on face-to-face -face teaching due to COVID, and have seen loan terms deteriorate and so forth. But there's nothing in here about um, the online teaching and learning that did work, because some of it did work during lockdown. Um, but everything just seems to have gone gone backwards. It may be that the the AI is going to move it forwards again somehow. But uh, mostly, this this is is about unavoidably high costs and limited income, and um, uh, no, there's there's another there's another bit here. It just says. An elite few with endowments and unlimited capacity to recruit can shield themselves from the worst effects of all these other problems. Well, I find that very, very worrying as a statement because I don't think Exeter, for example, has got loads of endowments, but they may think they've got an unlimited capacity to recruit. Being, being Russell Group, um, I'd, I'm not sure that would work. I think that would that would just destabilise the universities altogether, and the pension funds would get complicated. And um, I I don't think it would be a long-term situation that would would last. We'd just have a 
city crowded out with student accommodation buildings um, that would probably be built to a reasonable standard and last for 30 or 40 years during which time education might move online anyway um, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely raving now um, going back to the temptations <laughs> <laughs>